In this Alimix video, you will learn how to use the territory properties. Now you can open up the territory properties for any of your territories that you've created. To do that, you simply zoom into a territory and then right click on that territory and then select properties. You can also bypass the radial tool if you hold control on the keyboard and then right click on that territory and it'll go directly to your properties menu. Here in territory properties, you can rename the territory ID and the territory name. If that name already exists, it will not let you save this change. You'll have to change the ID or name to something that doesn't already exist. You can also assign a different sales rep to this territory by clicking this drop down menu and selecting that sales rep from here. You can also add a brand new sales rep by clicking on this plus button, filling in that ID and the name for that sales rep and putting in the zip code so the software knows where to place the icon for that sales rep. In addition to changing your sales reps, you can change the district that this territory is assigned to. Now you can only do that if you're using the pro version and if you've created a hierarchy. By default, the software has territories assigned to districts and districts assigned to regions, but you can change that in the align mix options. But here we are using the default version, so territories are assigned to districts. If you've already created districts, this dropdown will show you every district that has been created. If you'd like to assign this territory to a brand new district, you click on this plus button here and write in the name of the district ID and the district name, and then you would click on add and it would create that new district assignment. From this view, you can also change the color of that territory. So we make it green. You can see it changes to green right away. We also have a lock color, which is a slightly shade darker than the territory is itself. And when you do that, so let's change it to a light blue, click OK and now we're going to lock that territory. You can see that territory lock shows up as blue instead of green. So let's go back to our properties by clicking control and right clicking on that territory. We can also unlock that territory by clicking this button here, or you would unlock it using that radial tool that I just showed you. We also have this section here called label in part. By default, the label shows up in the largest mass, basically the number one. If you had multiple parts of this territory that were not connected and you wanted to move that label to appear in a different section, you would simply click set clicked, especially if you've right clicked on that little portion, or you would toggle this number up. So if you click on two, it would go to the second largest mass of that territory. And finally, here at the bottom, we've got the sums of all the data sets that are assigned to this territory. And at the very bottom, we've got a count of all the account segments that are also assigned to this territory. The territory properties are very handy. This is where you change your names, your assignments, and also where you can see the totals for every territory. And there you go. You've just learned how to use the territory properties.